All right. For this first video, we're going to learn about how to calculate formula weight and molar mass, which hopefully is reviewed by this point. This is pretty much the most basic thing of this unit. You're going to need to know how to do this to basically do anything else. So super, super important. All right. So we'll do formula weight first. OK. Formula weight, what it, what it basically is, is the weight or the mass of the compound. So let's, let's start out with an example. We'll, we'll do water, H2O. OK, if you get a problem where it asks you to find the formula weight of H2O, your first step is just find the mass of each um, atom that composes H2O. So first, we're going to do hydrogen. The mass of hydrogen, and to find this, we're going to look at the periodic table for the mass of one hydrogen atom. So if you look under H on the periodic table, you're going to see that it's 1.01, .01 and your unit is AMU, atomic mass units. OK. There are two hydrogen atoms, OK, two hydrogen atoms in one H2O molecule. So we will multiply this by 2 and get 2.02 .02 AMU. OK. We'll do the same thing for oxygen. 16.00. The zeros are important. You always want to use two decimal places, always, when you're taking a uh, formula weight from the periodic table, always. And that's for sig fig reasons. OK, AMU. There's only one, so that part's unnecessary. AMU. All right, so we found the mass of hydrogen. We found the mass of oxygen. All we need to do now is add them up. And we get 18.02 AMU. So this number right here. That is the formula weight of H2O. That's the mass of one H2O molecule, 18.02 AMU. So that's all you got to do. Fairly simple. Just add up the masses of each atom that's involved in this formula. So let's do, let's do one more. We'll do CO2. Keep it fairly simple. OK, mass of C, 12.01 AMU. Got that from the periodic table. Mass of O is 16.00 times 2, 32.00 AMU. Add those together, and we're going to get 44.01 AMU. And there's your answer. So that's, that's the formula weight of CO2. So fairly simple. Not really too complicated there. OK, the next thing that you have to do, which is really kind of the same thing, is molar mass. So in, in this unit and in chemistry in general, you're kind of going to hear formula weight and molar mass used interchangeably because they're basically the same thing. So to calculate molar mass, um, let me give you an example. Let's calculate the molar mass of HCl, hydrochloric acid. OK. So first step, mass of H, and we're just doing formula weight here. Mass of H is 1.01 .01 AMU. Mass of Cl, I believe, 35.45 AMU. Add them up, 36.46 AMU. So this is our formula weight, this number that we just got right there. So if we were asked molar mass, the, uh, the good thing is, I'm going to abbreviate again, it's the same number. The exact same number, so you'll find it the exact same way. The only difference is, in molar mass, you measure in grams per mole instead of AMU. I don't know why I did that. So you measure molar mass in grams per mole, and I'll show you why when we get into the grams to mole conversion section. OK, so let me give you guys a couple of examples for practice. So I'll give you two examples, and then you can pause it. And then once you solve them, unpause it and watch me solve them and see if you got them right. So let's try make it a little bit more difficult. Let's do calcium hydroxide. And let's do, let's do sodium nitrate. 
All right, pause it, and then unpause it, and I'll show you how to solve them. Okay. We're doing molar mass here. So mass of calcium, I'm pretty sure 40.08. Let me check that. Okay, that's right. Don't want to forget units. Then we'll do mass of oxygen. 16.00. Don't forget there's two of them. So it's 32 AMU. Okay. And mass of hydrogen. 1.01 .01 times 2. 2.02 .02 AMU. Add them all up and you should get 74 point one zero AMU point one I'm sorry seventy four point one this should only be three sig figs since hydrogen if you look right here our measurement for hydrogen only use three sig figs so our answer will only use three sig figs okay let's try the other side I didn't mean to go all, of, all up in the way over there. So, mass of sodium equals 22.99 AMU. Mass of nitrogen, 14.01 AMU. Mass oxygen, 16 times 3. So we're going to have 48 AMU. Okay. Add these up. And you're going to get 85. Now if you put that in the calculator, you're going to get 85 on the dot. But you do not want to leave off your significant figures there. Okay. So we've got our formula weights. But we need to calculate our got our formula weights. We need to calculate molar mass since that's what I asked you guys. So very easy. Seventy-four point one grams per mole. Eighty-five point zero zero grams per mole. Okay, so. This is formula weight. This is molar mass. Same thing over here. Getting really lazy with my abbreviations. So the only difference is the units. Okay? Only difference in the units. And I'll show you in the next section why it molar mass exists, why it's important. All right.